Hello guys, in this short video we're gonna teach you how to convert the indicator trading view script into the strategy script and it's gonna be extremely simple even if you don't know any coding because we're gonna use DeepSeek AI to assist us with that. Anyway, if you would like to learn a little bit more about the PineScript code and how it works, we do have the trading course which is available on Udemy and the recent offer is that if you purchase a subscription on our platform, you're gonna get this code for free. So don't miss your chance. Okay, without any further ado, let's get into the coding. Okay guys, so let's start. I have my DeepSeek window open on the left hand side and the BTC USDT price chart on the right. I already added some random indicator which will show you the buy and sell signals. Uh, to be honest, I, I don't know the logic, I haven't looked inside of the code, but it doesn't matter because the whole purpose of this video is to understand how DeepSeek can assist you in converting the indicator into the strategy to understand the code and to explain it to you. So let's start. The first thing I would do is I would go inside of the code, uh, create a working copy so we can uh, copy and paste it. And then it, it actually doesn't matter what's inside because this is what I would like DeepSeek to explain to me. So first I will write uh, something along. I have a Pine script indicator. Can you explain to me what it does and which variables are used to determine the long and short entries. And then I would just paste the code. Uh, so let's, that's pretty much it. Let's see what it was going to produce as a result. So the Pine script indicator is designed for trading crude oil on a three minute chart. It uses a combination of RSI and SMA. Okay, that's nice. Now it's providing some key components of the indicator. And this will be important for us when uh, we would like to determine a strategy. We will need to basically tell him what to use, what's going to be the long condition, what's going to be the short condition. So as I can see it right now, the buy sell signals called buy call and sell call in this code generating for the buy and sell signals based on the SMA crossover. Uh, so a, a buy is a more specific buy condition that requires a crossover of the previous close above SMA along with bullish candle patterns. Okay, so we're probably going to use this one in order to determine our logic for the uh, long entry and the sell variable for the short entry. So let's see if uh, we can ask him to do exactly that. So uh, convert this indicator into the strategy script for the long condition. Use the uh, by variable and for the short condition use the cell variable. So let's have a look. If we give uh, DeepSeek such a simple prompt, will it actually provide you with a code so you can easily copy and paste it into the PineScript editor on TradingView? And then we can backtest this. And this is one of the core benefits of uh, using AI such as DeepSeek in order to convert the indicator into the strategy to backtest the results. Okay guys, so after several retries, uh, because the server was busy, uh, our prompt actually was executed. Um, so let's see uh, how it works. We're just gonna copy it. And because this is a strategy script, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create the new strategy script and then just replace the whole code here and add it to chart. Let's see what the result is going to be. Okay, so now uh, by leaving the indicator on and the uh, strategy on at the same time, we can clearly see how the execution worked and when it was buying or selling. Okay, and it looks fine. 
Yes, we can see that the short occurred. Long occurred here. Okay, uh, what you can see straight away is that uh, it does not execute the second buy because we didn't introduce that option. We didn't say buy all the time and this will be related to pyramiding. So if you increase the number of entries, increase the pyramiding uh, in the trading view, it will um, create a buy or sell order at each step. Uh, one more quick thing, uh, we can even see that this is uh, a profitable strategy, but uh, don't get your hopes up because one thing for sure that you will need to change is you definitely need to add the commission. Uh, the standard one will be 0 0.05 and let's see if that changes the result. Well, it's still profitable, which is quite good. Uh, the profit factor is not that bad. Okay, uh, we're not going to go deeper in terms of the actual strategy, but the, the whole idea was to see how it can change the indicator into the strategy. Okay, now let's try and um, adapt another indicator. Uh, let's go into the library and see if we can find something from the community, from the top indicators there. Um, well, we can have a look at the super trend, which is quite a, a famous one. It also gives you the buy and sell signals. Let's see if the code is available. Yes. And now we once again can create a working copy. Uh, we can copy the code and then paste it into the DeepSeek. Uh, once again, we'll ask DeepSeek to actually explain the code for us first. Please explain this Pine script indicator in details. And now we just put the code in. And let's have a look if we can get the results straight away or the server once again is going to be busy. After several attempts, uh, we were able to finally get the results from the DeepSeek. So let's have a look. The prompt was as we originally intended, just to explain the PineScript indicator in details. Uh, let's see uh, about the description. So this PineScript is a, an implementation of a super trend indicator, which is a popular trend following indicator used in trading. Uh, it's also generated buy and sell signals, which is good. It provides you with the list of the inputs variable, the inputs variable that you would be able to see and uh, change over here. So the indicator time frame, the ATR period, and the ATR multiplier. All this true or false are this uh, buttons over here, which has changed the ATR, show by cell signals, and so on. So, okay, we sorted out all the inputs. And then there is a section about the ATR calculation and the super trend calculation. Uh, the last one is uh, the trend direction, so whether it's an upward or downward trend, and it's going to be either green or red, and then the plotting functions. Right, so we also can see that there are default alerts, which start with the alert condition, and you can see it's right at the end here, uh, line 34 and 35. So actually, in terms of explaining the code to you, explaining the variables and what they do, um, the DeepSeek is actually doing some great work. Even if you don't understand anything in the Pine script at the moment, this is a nice assistant for you to actually have an introduction to the Pine script, to explain it to you and to uh, try different options. So once again, let's try and convert this into the strategy. Uh, let's now convert this script into the strategy script. The enter long condition will be when the buy alert occurs and the sell condition will be when the sell alert occurs. Okay. Let's try this one on. Okay, guys, now we have the strategy code for the super trend indicator. Let's just copy and paste it once again. We can replace everything and then press add to chart. 
Right, and let's just uh, quickly check. So whenever we have a buy signal and the candle is closed, so it's confirmed, the long position is opening, and when we have the sell alert and the candle is closed, the sell is occurring, okay? So we can clearly see that it's um, working in terms of converting the indicator into strategy. And you can try different types of an indicators. The core idea here is that you must have the indicator script. You can just copy it. First, ask the DeepSeek how to interpret it, what it does, what are the key variables, and then it's all up to your ideas that you have, how to improve the strategy, uh, whether you want to add any take profits or stop losses, whether you want to introduce the risk management inside of this, whether you would like to make sure that it only trades in the trend market rather than have this uh, consolidation periods, uh, whether the, where the trend indicators just do not work. So it's, it's actually all up to you. Okay, one last thing that I want to mention is what if you have any kind of error? So you copy the script from the DeepSeek and then input it into the trading view and you have an error somewhere. Uh, what I would usually do is that I would come back to DeepSeek and tell him there is a problem with the code on such and such line and you just copy and paste the error and ask it to fix it. And DeepSeek will usually redo the uh, code and then you can reapply it to TradingView. As simple as that. Okay guys, that was it for today and best of luck with your trading.